my name is Paul Pindell. I'm with F5 Networks. I'm a principal architect there. I've been working on the OPI project for about 10 months now, and we're uh, coming out the door here soon. Um, DPUs and IPUs, uh, next generation smart NICs, um, they have tremendous potential in the edge market, in data centers, and especially in telco. We see that the one of the difficulties is provisioning, managing, configuring these cards. And we want to create a, an open standard, an open framework for it in a vendor agnostic way to attach to any of these cards and use them uh, across the board. So what is it? The OPI project, Open Programmable Infrastructure Project, is a new project. Um, it's in the Linux Foundation now. And it is a, a project where we're creating a, not so much a standard, we're not looking to create standards, but common frameworks, a common framework and a common set of APIs that can work across these vendors' cards. And I say cards, sometimes it may be in a switch. These functions may be in a switch. They may be in a server. They don't have to be on a card. But across these class of devices. So we want to create an open ecosystem where we can make it easy for uh, vendors, um, folks like F5, ISVs, and end users to use these cards and to get the services on them and get the value out of them that they want. Several of us came together about nine, ten months ago uh, after having many conversations with our customers about DPUs and IPUs. So DPUs are data processing units. I like to, to those that aren't initiated, I like to talk, to, talk about them as smart NICs, like next generation smart NICs. So a smart NIC that has a compute complex on it. It's got its own compute storage RAM. The story I like to tell is the, the for the why is I was getting ready. Uh, I was loading up the family truckster. We were going on, it was in December. We were headed on our way out of town. Uh, early in the morning, it was raining. My wife said to me, have you changed the windshield wipers on the car yet? And I said, no, I haven't. Uh, but I had the windshield wipers, so I went out in the rain, opened up the box that had the windshield wipers in it, and out fell 17 different adapters. So, and, and an instruction sheet that was, you know, four pages long about how to change my windshield wipers. I had to learn, I had to figure out what the interface was between my particular car and the particular windshield wiper blade that I bought. And I had to determine in looking at the diagrams in the rain, figuring out which one to use. Um, it was frustrating. And in the same way, these cards and from all of these different vendors, a lot of them have differing ways to do lifecycle management. So the provisioning, the bringing them up, the uh, attaching them to a host, uh, assigning um, services to them. They have different ways of completing those tasks. Um, and some of them are proprietary and some of them are not. Well, we as a, as a group got together and said, we need to bring the card manufacturers together. We need to bring in customers together and we need to bring folks like F5 um, that are ISVs that put our services on these cards. We need to bring these three groups together to figure out how we can simplify and make it easy for all of us to use these cards and therefore uh, increase the adoption on these cards in the way that they work. The, the difference with those is we're, we're attempting to bring all of, the, all of the players together in one space, um, end users, customers, and, and the vendors, uh, to again create that, that API structure. Um, we want a way, a single way to provision any card each and every card vendor will have their own magic sauce that they add to that. And there'll be APIs that you have to use that are particular to that card. But there's a, a common set of functions that each and every one of these cards needs to, needs to handle. We wanna try and tackle that space. How do we make it easy for, for customers to provision these cards? How do we make it easy for um, ISVs to uh, put their services on these cards and provide them as, um, uh, provide an end-to-end -end solution for the customer base. Uh, it's not just P4, so um, we're working through some of those details right now, like on the telemetry front. Telemetry is something that all of these cards need to do, 
and we've chosen uh, Otel as as the way that we're going to try and um, use uh, and provide telemetry. So we're not trying to rebuild the wheel here. We're gonna we're gonna put a car up on blocks and steal wheels from wherever we can uh, within the open source community. We're gonna try and put those building blocks together to create a, a truly open uh, ecosystem. We wanna make sure that we've provided um, lifecycle management, a way to integrate these systems together, a framework for doing that. Um, that's vendor agnostic. We wanna reuse existing um, software and services that are out there and we want to provide implementation details. So we think that we'll need to, um, and, and we're building right now examples. So example of how run this container and it will uh, provision the things you need in order to provision these cards. So we want to create example code that makes it easy for people to adopt these, adopt OPI, the OPI project and adopt these APIs for use with these cards. Intel and Marvell are the two card vendors at this point that have signed on the dotted line. We have two or three other card vendors in the wings that are in the midst of uh, paperwork. So they'll be joining soon. Um, haven't signed on the dotted line yet, so I can't mention them. Uh, we have Dell as an OEM system vendor and others are joining as well. We've got Keysight, which is a testing and uh, monitoring or uh, monitoring uh, vendor. So they're helping us with test frameworks that we can use for these cards and making sure that we, as we put them in our shared lab, that we're getting the results out of them that we need. Uh, we've got F5, which is a software vendor trying to put uh, software on these cards. And we've got Red Hat. Red Hat and IBM uh, are behind this as well. So those are the, that's the industry that's behind it at this point. Mm -hmm.